Hello everyone. I'd like to share my latest project. It's a, um, a sewing kit, a junk journal sewing kit. It's uh, inside a box. I've taken this box, which is uh, 8 by 11, 4 and a half inches high. I did some paper quilting, and each piece is um, has distressed edges, and it's inked with uh, Tim Holtz uh, hickory smoke. And there's the top, and all sides are also have the paper quilting. There you go. And um, the the paper collection that I used is um, it's all by Nostalgie Graphic Land. I'll put it in the description, but most of the um, all of the uh, information on this kit will be in my Etsy um, shop later today. In the description below, I'll just put uh, a few uh, a few items. And um, here on the outside is the shabby chic journal kit. And inside, I use the sewing journal kit with the ephemera cards, the advertising cards, the shabby chic background, and also the French ephemera journal de Paris uh, cards that are four by six, six by four. Inside the cover. I have two uh, two envelopes with gussets and uh, there's a journaling card inside and it's held by a magnet. These are the sewing cards um, ephemera, ephemera cards I should say and they're also, I also did some paper quilting for those items and they're held by, by magnets so there's two, oops, <laughs> there's two magnets and it's quite strong as you can, you can hear it inside the box I, I put a divider I've also lined the uh, inside of the box and uh, you'll see the bottom once I take everything out I'll start with this little linen bag and inside are some uh, journaling cards I made those with all my little leftovers bits and pieces It's beautiful the collection. It's it's very shabby, shabby chic. If you like that shabby chic look, and here's a flower, some uh, some uh, fabric, and also this. It's not tulle, but it's at the same color. A little tag with a garment pin, and um, here is a button box, and inside. I've lined the uh, the inside of the cover, and also the bottom is lined. And I just put a collection of old um, of old buttons. Here is a hoop. It's uh, with an embroidered flower. I didn't do that. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I don't think I would have the patience. But uh, it's from a, a vintage uh, handkerchief that I had, and I cut it up to put in this hoop. Then. Um, these uh, trim, uh, they're cotton trim that is uh, lightly tea, uh, tea dyed and there's a little um, sorry, um, just a little journal uh, book and here this term says uh, handmade it's it's pretty plain inside I, I use this um, newspaper print paper that I like and there's a bit of um, stamping at every second page finally took out my stamps get to use them uh, more often the middle of signature has a doily sewing machine linen thread uh, stamp here it's one to zero Pink isn't just a color, it's an attitude. Excuse me. <coughs> Here's a side, uh, side tuck. With the bottom of an alteration uh, tag. A library borrower's card. Some journaling paper. And the back. There's a uh, little pocket and there's a one of the uh, sewing ephemera cards inside there and 
journal. Here's the uh, inside of the box. It's all lined. The journal is um, five. No. <laughs> yes, the journal is five by seven, a two inch spine. The closure is a fabric tie. There's two signatures for a total of 80 pages. Most of the pages have been lightly tea stained. I want to keep it light and shabby. Um, yeah. I'll open it up. Uh, this is from an old um, sewing pattern, the Simpli Sim Simplicity. Uh, with some uh, lace trim rosettes. Here there's some uh, flowers, a little pin that's been altered, a little spool, a little button underneath there. On the edge of the pages I have a few, um, it's a lot of shadow today, it's so dark outside. There's a few um, Little um, here's a a thimble. Here's a. I'll show them as I go along. It'll be easier probably. A little sewing machine, scissors, a button with some bling. You'll see it later because <laughs> it's so dark. Well, inside the cover is a library pocket with some fussy cutting, vintage sewing which I took from the uh, collection. Uh, this journal belongs to, and this is the. The a note from the bookmaker, but that's written by Jibid Neri on YouTube. On this corner tuck is a just a, a whole pile of ephemera. A lot comes from also from um, Pinterest. Uh, the top of an alteration tag that I have in my Etsy shop. It's an ephemera card from the collection. And uh, on the edge here is some lace, but also I want to show that. Um, a garment pin that I have in my shop and there's that little pink button with some bling on the button. There you go. Paper from the collection, craft paper. Here's a, uh, that's the French Ephemera Journal de Paris, a journaling card. Here's a glassine bag that I fronted with this paper, some trim. And here is a tag. It says Style Vintage. It's that uh, stamp set that I just love. Here just a little safety pin in brass that I have in my Etsy shop. I also have them in black. Here is from an old um, handkerchief, a vintage handkerchief, twine. A merchandise bag from my, from my Etsy shop. And inside here Again, that's from um, Pinterest. A journaling card. Here's a side tuck in lace. And here I, I got some snippets from my snippet container, I guess, of some lace, different laces, with this item that I got from uh, Michael's. And uh, here again from Pinterest. And that's from the uh, Nostalgia Graphic Land. Here's that charm that I made. With a bee, sorry. It's a little bee charm. Uh, this is not from the Graphic Land. This is from uh, a paper pad that I have. I don't remember the name of it. An index card with a vintage, uh, sorry, with that two-part um, merchandise tag. I just stapled some little uh, pom-pom trim and uh, stamp vintage. And I sewed some uh, lace. A stamp. Oops, there's that charm. It's a little uh, scissors with a little flower. Here's a um, another glassine uh, bag from my shop, and uh, this is from the um, collection. And I think this is not. Um, I wrote it down somewhere because I don't want to forget. And of course, I can't see it. 
oh, this time Artie Mays, sorry. Artie Mays, and a little glassine bag with some cards du tissu, which is fabric, la mode, fashion, du cuir, leather. And here I got these little button cards off Pinterest, and I sewed on uh, a couple of buttons. Paper collection. The middle of signature, that file folder that I like. A guest check, which has been a tea stain. The weekly time record. I stapled uh, this little vintage uh, flowers. And I made a little corner tuck. This is from... Um, I think it's also from the uh, collection. This is a coat room check. Here is a um, glassine bag that I folded into. And um, here is a tag from the collection. This is from, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's from Pinterest. I put a button. And inside here is just a little journal book. The little girl's sewing book. Cute as a button. And uh, some paper, some graphic card. That's the bottom of that courtroom check. And in the middle, I, uh, I sewed this index card. And in the back, this is washi tape. And in the back, is this is from uh, Pinterest. That goes in there. This is a um, it's a buttons that come with uh, clothing. C'est la vie is a clothing line that I'm not familiar with. I don't even know where I got this, but I just put on a little piece of twine and attached it with a Tim Hortons a tiny attacher. Here is um, the Singer sewing machine charm. The side tuck with a little bit of pompon trim index card that's been tea stain. Um, this is a Tim Holtz, I think, uh, stamp, I'm not sure, warranty not included. I just staple a little snippet of uh, some uh, vintage uh, lace trim and some uh, fabric. Here is the other side of the um, of the large index card with a tag stamped uh, number twenty five number five. Here's 25 cent price. And uh, another pocket here. Atelier de Couture that comes with the kit. Some tags. The other side of the um, merchandise bag. This is um, from uh, Pinterest. Another little journal. Little notebook. With some uh, newspaper print paper. And I've just distressed the edges here. Here is the um, envelope that I like so much. <laughs> it's the um, jeweler's envelope with that large flap. And inside I put some uh, note paper that also comes from uh, the collection. And the front, I didn't stop on the front too much, is a doily. I fussy cut this item from the uh, kit, from the from the sewing kit. Some more graph paper. There's a side tuck in the back with this stamp, Tiffany and Company. And uh, some journaling paper. The second signature, another, um, this one, this uh, button is white, is cream I should say with that little bling, another uh, bead charm that I made, corner tuck here, this is the uh, magazine borrows uh, library card that I have in my Etsy shop, these two items come, I'm not sure if that doesn't come with Pinterest, but this comes with the uh, sewing kit. Paper from the sewing kit, craft paper, another a uh, another craft, uh, sorry, 
glassine bag and um, journaling card from the kit the tag with uh, some stamping another um, merchandise bag and inside here a journaling card this is the um, library card. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it's in my Etsy shop. I think it's the library. Hmm, I don't remember. And I put a little safety pin, just a little bow of that uh, of that fabric. And here is a um, it's a measuring tape on. Well, it's not leather, but uh, it's part of this kit here. It came comes from Michael. And um, that's that side tuck with the journaling card from the sewing kit. This is from a paper collection that I have. I liked it because it's to order some uh, handkerchiefs. And um, this is a journaling card that I made, a little journaling card that I made with the uh, sewing kit to collection. And this piece of sari sorry ribbon that I have had all these little beads and I wanted to show it off so I sewed it on this card not to uh, so it wouldn't be lost yeah. the another index large index card this is a vintage style sorry <laughs> it's a little um, price tag that I have in my Etsy shop and I just stapled that DMC that cotton uh, for um, embroidery, embroidery floss, and uh, just stamp vintage style. Another, uh, this is a glassine envelope that I have in my Etsy shop. It's square. This is from the sewing kit. And this I said it was from um, Artie Mays. And in this, um, here on the back, I just put some. Uh, it's cotton. Uh, it's a cotton twine. It's, it's. I really like it. Oh, sorry. With a button, with a bling in the middle. It's a vintage. But here inside the bag, I bought a sewing uh, a sewing basket at a flea market a few years ago, and um, everything inside it is uh, German. And I live in New Brunswick, Canada, so um, it's it's interesting. It's too bad we don't have the, I don't have the story of that uh, sewing basket, but I've included one here. The middle of the second signature. It's um it's the the um it's an envelope. Here's a thimble, and it's held close with that. And inside the envelope is um these are memo notes from the sewing kit. Well, it's. It's extra. Um, they're sewing cards. Uh, so, um, <laughs> oh Lord, I lose. It's un unreal how your mind goes blank when that camera goes on. <laughs> Churling cards. Oh. <laughs> a side tuck with an index card. Again, always play hard. With a little bit of a. Uh, trim the other side of that index card here's a pocket some more of the notes memo and um, I think these tags with the scissors are from uh, Christy Art Design I just saw my notes there this is from Pinterest I just love it the Singer sewing machine with the American Goldfinch and uh, a journaling card. Oops. Some note paper. A pocket with a uh, note memo. And another journaling card, a uh, tag from uh, Christie Art Design. Oh, I already showed that, sorry. Here's an envelope I made with a paper collection with a. Uh, journaling card it's off Pinterest 
It's a lady. It's a watercolor of a lady sewing on an old sewing machine, vintage sewing machine. Craft paper collection. And here is a side tuck. It was a paper I had left over and I cut out vintage sewing. Just glue that on there. And uh, some more. These are the uh, sewing advertising cards. I think I've downsized these. And this is off Pinterest. Maybe. I'm not sure. But everything will be listed um, in my Etsy shop. And there's the journal. So thank you for watching. And this will be listed in my Etsy shop uh, later today. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.